Dear audience, good morning. It is my honor to present uh, the progress report for my first three months of my PhD journey entitled The Application of Enhanced Recovery After Surgery Protocol to Improve Patient Outcomes After Surgeries. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Andras Cebeli Lenart. I'm a resident doctor at Semmelweis University, Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. And I'm a first year PhD student at the Center for Translational Medicine uh, under the guidance of Ferenc Banhidi, Balázs Lindner, along with our scientific methodology supervisor, Jakub Hoferica. Our vision is that every patient will get the best evidence-based care before and after surgeries. To achieve this, our mission is to emphasize leaving the old methods behind, behi uh, behind based on the enhanced recovery after surgery recommendations. Currently, we have two ongoing projects. Uh, uh, we are investigating the necessity of uh, mechanical bowel preparation in bowel resection surgeries and finding the proper timing for first oral feeding after bowel resection surgeries. So our first uh, research started this year, September. Uh, we are investigating the patient outcomes in bowel resection surgeries with and without mechanical bowel preparation. It is a systematic review and meta-analysis. Uh, enhanced recovery after surgery uh, protocol is an up-to-date, evidence-based approach uh, to improve recovery of the patients after major surgeries. Nowadays, mechanical bowel preparation continues to be widely used even if in bowel resection surgeries, <coughs> even IRES uh, protocol suggests its exclusion. Uh, based on uh, some articles, uh, the, uh, surgical, uh, the surgery's complications rate uh, without mechanical uh, bowel, bowel preparation, uh, for example, anastomosis leakage and surgical site infection is uh, less uh, the same or uh, less frequent with the odds ratio of 0 0.90 and 0 0.99 respectively. And the length of the stay at the hospital could also be reduced leaving the preparation method. So our aim is to investigate the efficacy of mechanical bowel preparation based on postoperative complication rates and length of stay at the hospital. Our clinical uh, question uh, is how does the presence of mechanical bowel preparation affect postoperative complication rates in patients undergoing surgeries with bowel resection? We use the PICO framework. We are focusing on surgeries with bowel resection, whether they had or didn't have mechanical bowel preparation. And uh, we examine the postoperative complication rates, particularly surgical site infection and anastomosis leakage the length of stay at the hospital as key outcomes. Our hypothesis suggests that excluding mechanical bowel preparation from preoperative routines will reduce the postoperative complication rates in surgeries with bowel resection. Our clinical implication in this study is to provide evidence-based guidance for surgeries with bowel resection. Uh, we conducted our systematic search in th three different databases, PubMed, Embase, and Cochrane, we use this uh, search key. The first domain is uh, for uh, the preparation method itself, complemented with the surgeries with, we are focusing on. Um, it resulted in more than 17,000 results, and after the duplication removal, we are now at 13,000 results. Uh, the key articles we found provide insights into the role of leaving mechanical bubble preparation. Uh, we chose these because they perfectly match our PICO framework. The outcomes uh, uh, suggest that leaving the mechanical bubble preparation methods uh, that, uh, don't result in any uh, more uh, complication rates. And uh, I want to uh, mention the second one as it is the largest known multi-year and multi-site analysis of postoperative complications with more than 27,000 patients involved. Uh, we are progressing uh, with the title abstraction quite quickly with my selection pair Loretta Niradi. Uh, 
The second project is comparing the safety and efficacy between fasting and early over oral feeding after bowel resection surgeries. This project started in this year's November. This is also a systematic review and meta-analysis. Conventional protocols after uh, bowel resection surgeries recommend fasting with administration uh, of just intravenous fluid until bowel function recovery. However, ERAS protocol uh, suggests early oral feeding as it reduces the length of the postoperative ileus and length of the stay at the hospital. As we can see, the resolution of the ileus uh, uh, is shortened in the early feeding group, as well as the length of the stay at the hospital, with a median of nine days in the early uh, feeding group, as opposed to 11 days in the fasting group. So our aim is to investigate the advantages of early postoperative feeding, oral feeding. That arises our clinical question, what is the optimal timing for first oral feeding after bowel resection surgeries? We also use the PICO framework in our research. Uh, we are examining bowel resection patients after uh, operation as our population, and we are comparing early oral feeding and fasting, and uh, we are uh, investigating the length of the ileus and length of the stay at the hospital as primary out outcomes and postoperative complications as secondary outcomes. Our hypothesis suggests that early oral feeding after bowel resection surgeries will reduce the length of postoperative ileus, length of stay, and complications rates as well. Our clinical implication in our, in our study is to ensure quicker and safe recovery after bowel resection surgeries. So the first project, uh, we want to submit it by next year's summer, uh, spring, and the second one by next year's summer. And for last but not least, as Franklin D. Roosevelt said, a smooth sea doesn't make a skilled sailor. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you for a great presentation. Uh, I have a question about your first project. Can we apply mechanical bowel preparation in emergency situations, just like injury after knife, if uh, maybe in fecal peritonitis, uh, can we apply mechanical bowel preparation in this situation? Thank you for your question. Uh, mechanical bowel preparation um, is um, mostly for elective uh, surgeries with bowel resection. So emergency situation doesn't allow us to apply maybe perioperative uh, lavage, but not mechanical bowel preparation Thank you. prior to the surgery. I have a question regarding your second project, which is what do you exactly mean by earlier oral feeding? So days or um, hours? Thank you for your question. Uh, early oral feeding means um, after um, recovery from anesthesia, we we'll allow the patient to uh, um, in, drink liquid or oral nutritional supplements. And uh, on the first postoperative day, we allow uh, regular solid food for the patient. My question is regarding to the second project. So I would like to know what kind of the post-operative -oper complications will you measure? Because I didn't see... Uh, okay, thank you for your question. Yes. Uh, for the second project, we also want to investigate uh, um, surgical size infection, uh, anastomosis leakage, uh, as for the sec uh, first project, and we want to um, exclude the investigation with the uh, reoperation rates and the patient subjective uh, um, complaints. Uh, I think we can uh, take an advice for you. Uh, perhaps uh, it would be useful uh, um, a figure uh, showing the two methods uh, for simplifying this uh, question. What do you think? I think you were right. So that would be great because uh, there's an interdisciplinary meeting. When, when you show on the first slide uh, about the mechanical preparation, antibiotic preparation, what does it mean? And when do you use that? What, what is the gold standard for them? So one slide, and then every, everyone is in a picture. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, congratulations. Uh, I'd like to ask about your second topic. What is the reason you just uh, investigating the early oral feeding at, and the enteral one now? Yes, uh, the most articles we found um, and uh, nowadays routine, um, we asked uh, and we, what we read, that nasogastric uh, feeding is less common than oral feeding after side surgeries. So my question related to your second topic, we are using a chewing gum after operation. So is there any data about that? Uh, yes, I read some articles about that and uh, it contributes to the mm, brain uh, neuro signals to the uh, bubble movements, so it can be useful as well, but we will focus on that. Thank you. So one final comment from me. Uh, I know we are over time, but I, I think it can be important and also you can be criticized. Uh, can you maybe go back to your intro slide? Uh, when Which you one? Are Sorry. Intro slide when you are uh, the first project. Yeah, this one. So basically you referred the possible beneficial effect of uh, the uh, basically uh, leaving the uh, mechanical mobile um, preparation, preparation. Yeah. and here you wrote some numbers also p-values which p-value is statistically significant thank you for your question um, yeah pay attention to that just briefly okay, yeah. okay. especially if you want to include these numbers uh, yes, in your yes, article yes. we will discuss it with our yeah. statisticians thank you, thank you.